She's an amazing woman, so it's wonderful to have Dee Madigan here with us this evening. Nominated by Hugh McDermott, the member for Prospect. Dee Madigan is an award-winning creative director with over 20 years experience in advertising. She's been a winner or finalist in, at most major awards, including the Cannes Film Festival. I haven't been there, can you tell? Um, she uh, has been creative director on seven election campaigns for the ALP, including the 2013 federal campaign and the recent and extremely successful 2015 Queensland election campaign. <laughs> works with a range of unions developing campaigns for United Voice, Queensland Nurses, CPSU and many more. She runs her own advertising agency called Campaign Edge and she's a panellist of course you'll see on the television on the Grawl Awards, on the Grawl um, program, as well as a political commentator on Sky. Sometimes I think, God, you know, instead of all that wall-to-wall -wall liberal nonsense that we have to listen to, somebody with speaking sense gets on there. So thank you for the relief that you've provided over the years, Dee. Um, her mother was born in Meath. Her father was born in Clare, a great heritage. Congratulations, Dee. First generation Australian. My mum emigrated here from Meath and dad was sent over by the Catholic Church. It's a bit dead leaves out. You see, I'm the daughter of a Catholic priest. Obviously not a very good one. <laughs> Australian citizenship because back then you had to swear allegiance to the Queen and that was never going to happen. <laughs> when I was at school, when Lady Di and Prince Charles got married, they had a Lady Di and Prince Charles Day and Dad took us all out of school on protest. <laughs> and I still remember his exact, his exact words were, I don't send my fucking children to a fucking Catholic school so they can have a Lady fucking Di and Prince fucking Charles Day. The, um, poshest convent schools in Turak, which is clearly why I'm such a goddamn fucking lady. <laughs> in, 97, in 87, when I graduated, there was an election. There was 97 kids in my class. Two of us voted Labor. <laughs> Growing up, um, politics was very big in our family. and We used to have a lot of fundraising events for the poor people back home. And to this day, I'm not entirely sure the money was going to food and clothes. <laughs> I left mainstream advertising because I got sick of selling people shit they didn't need, couldn't afford and make themselves feel bad about themselves to do so. So it's an absolute privilege and pleasure to be able to do what I do. Thank you. 